Well, good afternoon and welcome to another Yorkshire Motorhomers Motorhome Adventures Lockdown Life version As you all know, we can't get out, it's Easter weekend and we can't get out um, So we're having to do other things um, like tidy up the garden uh, a little bit of painting and decorating, washing the car and that kind of thing um, but as you know we like to do uh, cooking so it's uh, Saturday afternoon and Saturday usually means I have a steak night or curry night in the Oldsworth household so today I am going to make from Jamie's book a chicken korma um, and I'm going to make it all from scratch so I'm going to start with making the korma paste um, and I'll show you what ingredients we need for that right okay to uh, to make the um, korma paste we need two cloves of garlic a thumbnail size of ginger cane pepper garam masala sea salt ground nut oil tomato puree two chilies ground almonds and desiccated coconut and then your spices cumin seeds and coriander seeds these will be roasted in a, a dry frying pan so I'll get all these together and we'll have a look at how we put it all together. Okay, so we've got all the dry ingredients, the uh, garam masala, the uh, cane pepper, desiccated coconut and ground almonds, all mixed in in that bowl there. Um, in the processor, we've got the two chilies chopped, the um, ginger, finely chopped uh, and two cloves of garlic so those will all get processed um, we've got the tomato puree and the groundnut oil and in the pan here are ready to roast we've got the cumin seeds and the coriander seeds so I'm just going to go over to the uh, oven top and roast them and then we'll bob them into the uh, pestle and mortar um, and ground them up Right, so we've got the uh, the spices on the uh, on the heat. Um, just toast them for a, a few minutes until they start going a little bit brown, and you start getting that lovely uh, aromatic smell, which is coming through now. The great thing about this lockdown is. Uh, it's how people are just helping each other out. Um, Tracy's been looking for some bread flour um, and the neighbours have been coming around each time they go to the supermarket saying is there anything you can't get and flowers there's been a, a shortage of flour because she wants to make her own bread. Um, and one of the neighbours this morning on the doorstep left three bags of flour um, which is fantastic and somebody else from the village um, just put a message on Facebook anyone living in the Birkinshaw area has got some um, ground almonds of course we have because we're using them in this recipe um, so the lady came down message Tracy Tracy says yep come down here she left uh, a bag Tracy left a bag of uh, ground almonds on the doorstep outside the lady came and collected, Mrs. Tracy that she was there, she's left uh, a bar of chocolate for us as a thank you. Um, and it's, it's just great. People are getting together and, and helping each other out in this time of crisis. Right, these are just about, yeah, toasted. Just give them a little bit longer. It's starting to jump out of the pan, so. Let's uh, turn the heat off and pop them into pestle and mortar. Just give that 
grind it down to release all the uh, flavors from the spices. And then we'll take all of this over to the, I'll add it into the um, food processor on the other side, and then we'll start to make it into a paste. Absolutely amazing. So there we are, we have it there. All ground up. Right, so we're back at the prep station and just going to add the ground spices. into the uh, food processor all the dry ingredients bob in the uh, tomato puree and ground up oil might have to just uh, put some more um, ground oil in if we need to but we'll see how it goes with what um, the recipe says so let's give it a blitz together there. Might just have to put a little bit more um, around the oil in just to loosen it up a little bit. Yeah that's come together really nice now. Just have a look at that. Yeah. So there we have the paste all mixed up. There's some uh, some of the chili is not finely chopped. I'm going to leave it as it is, um, just to give it a little bit of uh, bite. But it's all blended together nicely. And that is the korma paste, all ready for later this afternoon. Right, so we've got the curry paste made. Um, what I'm doing now is preparing the actual um, korma. Um, curry part of the ingredients the chicken um, so we're doing half quantity so 400 grams of uh, chicken breast it does say in the recipe use uh, uh, boneless chicken ties but we prefer the uh, breast part of the chicken um, and we have um, a medium onion um, chili which I've already put into the bowl there uh, with ginger along with ginger, fresh ginger. Uh, we have some chickpeas, we're just going to use half a quantity of them chickpeas, um, groundnut uh, oil, a little bit of butter, um, coconut milk, um, and then we've got flaked almonds and desiccated coconut here. And yogurt, 250 millilitres of yogurt and one lemon. So just going to finely slice these onions and then what we'll do is we'll take these over to the uh, pan and we'll saute these down along with the, uh, the chilli and the ginger. 
um, with this uh, with the uh, chicken breast it does say um, you don't pan fry it um, you, you just add it in once you've cubed it into three centimeter cubes and it cooks within the sauce so that's the onions prepared so we'll get these over to the pan right so at the other knob um, just sorting off the onions the sliced onions just keep them moving about the pan so they don't catch and I'm just going to add in the uh, ginger The green chili, uh, the, the green chili, fresh green chili. Mix them all in well. And we'll just sort them off until they're nice and okay. So we've got them uh, onions, uh, chilies, and our oh, chili and the uh, ginger nicely sorted there. Uh, onions translucent. So I'm going to, at this point, add in the corner paste. I'm only using part of this because I did do the full amount of this, so I'll stir some. So I'll just stir that in. Do you think it will freeze, Kevin, the corner paste? Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, that's been to smell nice. I'll just mix that in with the onions and then we'll put in the rest of the ingredients so we do something like this in the mortar home we'll probably pre-make the korma paste or the curry paste and take it with us but in the mortar home we, uh, we can more or less cook anything what we want if you have the will and we do um, once we're all set up and that, we all make a nice uh, meal. Uh, usually a curry. Oh, one of your famous bolognese. Oh, one of my famous bolognese. Well, it's famous with the grandkids. Yeah. Right, so we've got all that mixed in. So we're going to put in the coconut milk. Add that in. And half the chickpeas. It's starting to smell good, look. Desiccated coconut. Half of the almonds, because we're going to put some on top presentation um, juice of half a lemon mix all that in I suppose if you're a vegetarian you could uh, bring it to this stage um, I've not put the uh, any meat in. There's the yogurt to go in yet, but uh, just before that, I'm going to put the chicken breast in. Tess, can you just give me them mm. chicken breast? <coughs> so I've chopped the um, chicken breast evenly, so they, they cook them evenly. The way it being chicken breast, um, on, we're putting them in straight as they are. Um, and let them cook. It just says to, to put them in at this stage. If you're doing the thighs, um, you would put them in, brown, brown them off, um, and then set them aside and then follow the same process. So mix all that in. Bob in the yogurt. So 
what we're going to do with this now is bring it up to the boil and then just let it simmer away until the chicken's cooked. Do you want the half that you're getting in the stuff? Yeah, I'm just putting so much in and then oh. might, might top it up later on. Yeah. So let that come up to the boil and then put it on the simmer and, and then we'll just uh, leave it for 30 minutes and see where we are. But I'll keep coming back and checking it. Right, so that's just come up to the boil. <coughs> I'm just going to put the lid on it now and, and let that simmer. Um, but oh, it smells nice. Not really a fan of chicken comb, and it's the first time I've ever made some. So um, we'll see, but it does, it does look good. And it smells absolutely gorgeous. Let's hope it uh, tastes as good as it looks. So normally. Uh, this weekend, Easter weekend, we've got plans like most of you have had, but we weren't actually going away in the motorhome this weekend. Um, was, uh, we was going to have a family weekend with the, uh, our children and the grandkids around over the Easter weekend because prior to Easter we was, um, we was going to, uh, let's just put this camera up so you can see me. We was going to, um, prior to the Easter weekend, we, we got plans to go to various shows and things. Um, so we thought we'd not go away at Easter and spend time with the family, but of course, with things now we can't do that. So um, we've just got to make most of it. And this is how we keep ourselves occupied. So that's it, the, uh, the chicken karma is on simmer. Um, and we'll, um, once it's plated up, I'll uh, do a little shot of that. So for now, we'll uh, catch up with you later. Right, so here we are. Dinner almost ready. Um, Tracy's just doing the last rotis. The curry, let's have a look at the curry, Trace. There it is, let's give that a quick stir. Put the top off. Yeah, and there it is, a beautiful, homemade chicken korma curry and homemade rotis I'll just show you one under here there you are so that's our tea now and we've got enough there for another day <laughs> or another couple yeah. of people at least yeah. unfortunately we can't share anything no. so so I hope you've enjoyed us watching uh, us making this. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching us make this curry. As and, much as uh, we've enjoyed making it. And I hope you enjoy your Easter weekend. What's uh, left of it now? Have you, have you shown my lovely bacon? Oh uh, yeah, of course yeah. Oh yeah. There we are. The result of uh, Tracy's labours this afternoon: the uh, lemon drizzle cake and the scones. Um, so hopefully. <laughs> We can um, get out the house door when all this is over. <laughs> I'm doubtful. And get back into our motor home uh, like you all want to do. Um, so please stay safe, look after each other, and we'll see you on our next vlog. Bye bye. bye.